Hi, so this is our 20 minute workout for our hamstrings. These beautiful muscles that come down back of the knee, up the thigh, and in the glute, as well as our core. So lower core, transverse bones, the deep core, plus our back muscles. So we're gonna do 20 minutes of work. I have four sets. I'm gonna put a timer on so that <laughs> keeps me um, <clears throat> keep me honest and keeps me legit. So we're gonna do a, a short, short little warm up. And I think we're gonna do a short warm up. Of course we are. And then we'll get going at this hamstring and core little workout. How's everybody feeling? Great. Good. Great. Love it, love it, love it. You know, I did change up um, the second part, our, our yoga, just because the heat wasn't too sure how everybody would be feeling. So we're gonna be doing hamstring and get flexibility tonight. Concentrating on those deadlifts. So I want you to pretend you've got weight and we're just going to go down into a deadlift. So bend those knees, chest uh, down towards your thighs, and bring it back up. Take it down and up, down and up. Two more. And now hang down and drop one hand down under your nose. Take your other hand up. Now with the one hand that's down, I got my right hand down, straight through that left leg. Stretch that hamstring. Then go to the other side. Stretch the other side. So big bend in the one knee. Straighten that opposite leg. Feel that connection to your hamstrings. Roll up. Give your legs a shake. And I'm going to get that timer going. So grab one light weight. We're going to do some dumbbell marches to get that core activated and bring it up. So we're coming right up here. And we're simply... <laughs> Marching, but we're not throwing the knees up, we're taking them up nice and high, stacking your back, all your vertebrae on top of one another. So, working those core muscles and waking them up and lift nice, lift it up. So, soft through the shoulder, but you want that arm nice and engaged. Same with the core. How easy was that? All right, a heavier weight. We're going to do an off stance deadlift. So weight in the left hand, left foot forward, right foot back. We hinge down. We come up. We step back to a reverse lunge. We step forward. So it's an off stance deadlift all the way up. Take that foot back and up. So make sure your feet aren't joining each other when you come back to that deadlift. Breathe it down and reverse lunge. Take it down and reverse lunge. One more. Take it back and reverse lunge. Nice. All right, we're going to take that march over to the other side and then we'll take that off stance to the other side. So here we go. We're going to be, I'm going to be moving you as fast through these exercises. So there's none of this, oh, we got a 30 second break in between. The class is too short, we're only together 20 minutes. <laughs> and up, nice and high, right? Oh, and push, up. Engage that core, lift and lower. Push and up. Nice, back to your heavy weight. We're gonna go off stance on the other side. So, right foot forward, left foot back. We hinge, we come up, we step back to the reverse lunge. Foot forward, hinge. So when you hinge, that hinge comes from the hip, engage to your, your lovely hamstring. When you step back to that reverse lunge, make sure your torso is nice and stacked. So it's not about doing 5,000, but doing all of them with really nice form. And there we go. Okay, keep that heavy weight. We're gonna go right into standing ab crunches. So hold the dumbbell up, and you're gonna crunch and crunch. 35 little seconds, here we go. And up. Woo. 
and reach. Cool. Elbows to the knee, knee to the elbow, and you're crunching. Woo. I always get mad when I do this. Like, oh, oh, push. And up, lift, and more. And make sure you're breathing. Couple more. And the last one. All right, right down to your ground. We're going to do a plank hold. So, two options forearm plank or high plank. Forearm plank means the elbows are under the shoulders, high plank, rest around. So, chest forward, heels back, press the crown away. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs. Do not collapse into your wrists or your shoulders. So, make sure you're a nice, strong, 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 strong board. And we're breathing. Woo. Ten seconds. We've got this, right? Right? Everybody's still yeah, there? We've got this. <laughs> Two and one. Lock your hands to your feet. Come on back. All right. Little break in between. Next round, we're going to do a single leg deadlift. So on the back mm -hmm. left, standing. Single leg deadlift, back and forth, and then we're going to be doing something jackknives. All right, so grab your dumbbell, and let's start with those single leg deadlifts. So push back, and then nice and slow, nice and controlled, coming to that nice flat back, hanging out at the bottom just for a second or two. Maybe the knee wobbles, that's okay. That strengthens all the muscles there. So we've got core going on here for the balance, knee stabilization, and of course that beautiful hamstring. One more. Woo. All right, get rid of that weight, but keep it close by. You're going to stand in jack now. So this is about lengthening through our spine and crunching in the middle. So we tap and we tap. Reach and sink. Ooh. And up. Ooh. Expand your back, expand your ribs, and then tap it in. So fingers and toes beat the navel, middle of the torso. Push. Up. Ooh. And up. A couple more. Ooh. And up. Ooh. Lift. Get that leg nice and high. Yes, looking strong. And there we go. All right. Single leg deadlift, opposite leg. Right arm back, right foot back, and stabilize. So make sure you're doing the opposite side. And again, we want to hold it at the bottom for a count of one or two and come up. Also, when we hold it, we're not holding our breath, but we can find our breath. That helps breathe, that helps stability and balance. Beautiful. All right, you have a kettlebell, grab a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, grab a dumbbell, we're gonna swing that. All right, so it comes. Pass the legs up. To the chest, and you're swinging it, you're squeezing your glutes, thrusting your hips, and those hamstrings are keeping us nice and balanced and straight. Push it up. Woo. And up. 10 seconds. Woo. And up. Five. Last one. Ooh, I love my kettlebell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two dumbbells, step leg deadlifts. So nice and heavy. Feet stack underneath your hips. Hinge down. Hold it. Bring it all the way back up. Take it down. And back up. Down we go. And so reset those shoulders. Reset your spine. 
back in your ankles, your knees, and your feet over top of one another, feeling that engagement to the muscles of your leg. Up we go. Woo. One more. All right. We're going to do a down dog or a pike to a plank. So come on, let's walk ourselves back to a down dog or a pike. So really pressing your chest towards your thighs. Tailbone to the air. And then now plank forward. Press the ground away. Squeeze your glutes. Press the tailbone to the sky. Chest back. Squeeze your core. Take it in. Press it back. So kind of just a little flossing from a plank to a pike. But really, even on that pike, press really to your chest, to your thighs, tailbone to the sky. Belly button is engaged. And then come on down onto your knees. And we're done round two. <laughs> All right, back up we go. Round three, we're going to do single leg deadlifts. We're not going to use any weights. We're going to do a single leg deadlift with a knee up. So it's going to look something like that to the knee up, and we hold it for three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Take it back. Bring it up. Three, two, and one. Pedal it back. Nice and slow. Bring it up. Knee nice and high. Three, two, and one. Push it back. Woo. And up for three, two, one. It's time for one more. Bring it back. And up for three, two, and one. Woo. Shake that. On the other side now. So get ready, roll shoulders, get that spine, find your breath, kick back, then you come to a nice flat back, hands can be on your hips. Add stability knee up for three, two, and one. Push it back. Keep that foot flexed. And up. Three, two, and one. Push it through. Woo. And three. Two, one, we've got time for one more. Push it back. Lift for three, two, and one. All right, back right down on the ground. We're going to toe tap our plank and shoulder tap. So we're going to do a count of four. So come on down, press the floor away. So toe tap for one, toe tap for two, shoulder tap for three, shoulder tap for four. Toe, toe, shoulder, shoulder, toe. Toe, shoulder, and shoulder. Two, toe, shoulder, shoulder, toe, toe, shoulder, shoulder, whoo, shoulder, shoulder, tap, tap, whoo. Take it out. One more. Tap, tap, and down we go. All right, I got too much stuff in my way. We're going to go down into a bird dog. So, a spinal balance. Knee stack on the hips, left leg, right arm, and then you're gonna round your back, elbow to knee, nose to knee, reach. Elbow to knee, nose to knee, reach. So, work on that core. Now, hold this one for five, four, three, two, one. Elbow to the knee. Push it away. Lengthen that spine. Round. And lengthen. One more. Round. And lengthen. All right, go to the other side. Push the heel back. And we round. Exaggerate that round. And then push the floor away. Don't collapse into it. Keep that arm nice and taut. Then we hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Round again. Sweet. One more. And we hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. 
All right, quickly, grab a five pound dumbbell and you're gonna cradle it between your feet. We're going down onto our bellies. We're gonna do a line hamstring curl. So bring that weight in and out. So bend the knees, engage those triceps. Squeeze it and up, squeeze and up. Take it up and then hopefully you've noticed how much easier it is than you know two years ago, three years ago, six years ago to put that dumbbell in our feet. One more. Squeeze it and then let it go. All right. Last round. We're gonna do some bridge work. So grab a heavy weight and then one mid dumbbell. So we're gonna do weighted hip braces. Your bridges. So bring your heavy weight onto your hips. Walk your feet into your glutes. Hold that weight steady and up we go. Part weight in. Up and part way down. So you're pressing into all four corners of your feet. And at the very top, you're squeezing your glutes. Squeeze it up and bring it down. All the way up. And down. <laughs> and up. Dig it up. And down. Squeeze. You got time for one more. Dig it up. Ooh. All right. That was your heaviest weight. Grab something a little bit lighter. You're going to hold the ends of it. Bring your arms straight up from your chest, holding the dumbbell legs. Both legs up. Flex your feet. Bring your arms, your feet away from one another. We're going to go up for three punches. So three, two, one, and drop. So flex those feet. Tailbone stays connected to the ground. Chin is safe. Flex. Press. And down. Push up, 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 and down. Lift, 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 and down. Push it up, 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 and down. Squeeze, two, three, and <laughs> All right, we're gonna pass here, single leg bridges. So let's start with the right leg long, left leg bent, pink, uh, put on the floor. Arms by your side, and you squeeze it up, and you squeeze it down. Press up and down. So you're squeezing through your glutes, and up and down, push, and up, push, and squeeze. I like to keep my knees together. Some people like to stop the ceiling. That gives it a little bit more hamstringy versus glutey. So maybe do one and the other. Woo. All right, so my right leg is now gonna come, ankle is gonna come across my left foot. I'm gonna hammock my head, so cradle behind. Take the left foot up in the air, you're going to drop the left leg down with a figure four crunch. So punch it in, push it away, lift to the sky. Drop it, crunch it, push away, lift to the sky. Drop, crunch, push, up, down, and crunch it in. Push, up, down, and in. So we've got core, we've got glutes, lots of fun stuff. Push, up. Out, in, and away. Woo! All right. Let's jump on the other side. <laughs> so, left leg in the air, arms by your side, so you can glue your legs together. And up we go, and down. Up, and down. Or, like last time, you can do one glue, one unglue. Lift, and up. And a quiet crowd must be concentrating. Woo! And up. 10 seconds. Lift. Are you feeling those hamstrings, those muscles in the back of your leg? Yeah. Woo! All right. Take that left foot, ankle, cross it over the right uh, knee, go up, and hammock your hands. Take that right foot straight up into the air. We're going to drop it. We're going to 
Crouch in, push away, lift back to the sky. Drop in, push away to the sky. Woo! In, push. So really push through those heels. That leg is active, it's dynamic, it's strong, like you. Push up in. Oh. Push away. Lift up one more time. Whee! Bring your knees in your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And that, my friends, is how you do your hamstrings and your core in 20 minutes combined. Nice. So, yeah. Um, so if you're going to stay, um, if you have more time, I would suggest that you stay. And run the, if you're going to do this one again, run the yoga one right after because it's going to open up your hips and your hamstrings.